had at the restaurant for me because what took place tonight, I have no idea. We have more people from different parts of the country than we do right around here. So where they at, I have no idea. But we certainly thank you all for coming. This board here is set up to, we will do our best, Brandy. We will take in everything y'all say is credit to the people. That's, that's about all I can tell you at this point. Man. Um, I will tell you that all of our meetings, when we have them, are videos. And uh, on back here is to do the videos, other than the information that the Twitter probably does ring a bell. But anyway, that's the way it is. Uh, I say, again, I say we thank you for coming. And after Larry gives the invocation, then this other Larry will introduce some of our guests. Thank you very much for being here. Here, Once again, Adam Father, come to pray for our happy report. Many blessings are given us the weekend today. Strength and relief we got to let us have a good meeting with nine good people to understand what we're trying to do in this community to make this better community and make it a better town. We will each one represent tonight. And once again, pray a special blessing on our truth where we may be proud. Also, a special blessing on the U.S. Bank. And all the things you did is not this morning. This board, Larry, before you start, if you don't know it, some of the folks might know it, might not know it. It's, it was just set up with some voluntary people who agreed to take certain spots for a certain length of time. And when the people got ready to put a border there all up, then that would be just fine. We'd just step out of the way one at a time, but I'm going to let whoever they want to when the time comes to be necessary. It's not a political meeting. It's not a black or white or Democrat or Republican. It's a meeting of the people in this community. And tonight, you folks. Okay, thank you for the meeting. Once again, Mr. Rock, uh, on behalf of the board, we thank you all for coming. Uh, we want to make welcome all our visitors and with us, especially our fellow commissioner, Mr. Allen Thomas. We thank you for being here. Uh, we do have an agenda. We will stay within our agenda as the meeting progresses. Uh, and at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Tom McNeil. Uh, known him for a long time. He's a utility man. I thought he retired, but I guess he has to work all the time. So, Tom, I'll let you come and your uh, cohort is with you. You can introduce him and go off and take us where we need to go. Uh, all right, I'll give you a little background to begin with. Uh, I'm doing interviews. Uh, Logan Carson, he's going to OKC Engineering, and they're going to design on our Wicklow Creek plant and the uh, Alcohol. And John Walker there, the John Walker, the John Walker, the engineer, he's going to the Oak County and the John Walker School of Work. Uh, for that, I'm, I'm going to step over here. I always need a map to get a little bit of the background. And, and this one is saying a lot of rain and, and uh, bad weather over his time. But the long and the short of it is that the county has been trying to get a sewer system at, at least for part of the urban services area for uh, I don't know, at least 10 years. I know I retired from PWC in 2004. And uh, Mike Wood was the manager of the day, he asked me to come over and help work on getting some utility issues squared away. He said it wouldn't take but a month or two, uh, and, and I was still riding back and forth. And, uh, <laughs> but, but I live right there in Barber Lake Road, so it's not a very far uh, But anyhow, one of the first things I wanted to do was to, to come up with a land use plan. And, and that was to show what area would be urban, because for years there was no way in the world to put sewer throughout Oak County. And, and they wanted to concentrate on the 401 corridor, which is right there, uh, and, and try to be able to get some commercial into the county, rather than everything going across the county line and sales tax and everything to the uh, and, and we did. We did a contract with PWC. Um, whereby they treated 500,000 gallons of wastewater a day, and we greatly treated 500,000 gallons of wastewater. We want to get back and expand on that. That's what we're going to do the, the Walmart and then the hospitals came up. And on paper, we didn't have any additional capacity left. Uh, because the state makes you compute your capacity based on what a normal house is supposed to use and 
what business did you use and that type of thing. We went back to PNC to see what we could get from them. Uh, they weren't willing to increase our capacity <coughs> until we actually got closed up to that 500,000 gallons a day. And we were only down like 70,000 gallons a day. So that, that wasn't working. That, and then we looked at what we were paying for capacity to buy it from uh, PNC and from the city of Rayford. And at that time, you could build a new plant uh, for a comparable amount per gallon to do so. So we, we started this morning, but when we get a discharge permit, and we're up this year. And that took probably a year and a half to get through that process. And, and they said, yes, you can. You can actually build up to a 7 million gallon per day plant, which is uh, very large. Uh, yes. And, and what we started out with was to be a 3 million gallon per day plant. And we acquired sites on Ellis Road. The plant is, is probably 85% complete. Um, should be operational by the end of July, first of all. And, and it is a state-of-the-art plant. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, but the water that goes back to Rockford is frankly better than the water that comes out of it, it is, it is, I mean, it's part of the top tech. Uh, at the same time, the contract included putting outfalls in it. And, and the outfalls that were installed are what we call outfalls as major trunk lines, associated sewer lines. Uh, we already put in one that went to serve Walmart, which is the Bahia. So then you have we put in another one that, that came all the way up from uh, Philippine Church Road, uh, near Kurt's Harden's Land, trains that we had around uh, that served the Westgate, that served the New Cape Ground Hospital, and that served the First Health Hospital, and put in uh, this instance again. All, all of that was discharged to this outfall, and then we went back down to, to the plant. So day one, we're going to have a, a 1.5 million gallon per day treatment plant. And we're going to have about 400,000 gallons per day going to that. All right, that that's done. Then with the county, as part of their development standards and and what they look at in the urban services area, that they wanted to be sure that anything developing within the urban services area developed with sewer if it was in an area that they could get to it by gravity. So this lighter beige area that you see there, which is this forward corridor and all along David Creek and part of Black Branch, any development that occurred in, in this area can drain naturally into the downfall, the downfall of the south is large enough to take care of that development. Uh, and, and that's all well and good. And we, we've got a lot of new development requests coming in that, that will be served from this trunk maze that we'll need. And that still leaves a lot of this brown area that gets all the way over to the heart of Rockfish and all the way over to the county line. Uh, that's within the urban census area. And within those areas, you had to, to either extend sewer or you had to get a sewer waiver from the, from the county. And they neighbors here tonight. Dave has been reporting to the community a number of times and the county commissioners trying to get sewer waivers for like the Bellamus and, and the Trillos community that literally owns to the street as far away from the sewer as you can get. And, and that didn't make a whole lot of sense to go through all that engineering piece of the study when when it was speaking on for other people. I mean it was better because $2 million to get from there to here. Uh, so the, the next thing that came up there was we need to, to look at how we can address some of this undeveloped acreage uh, that really has development potential uh, that includes the, the uh, Rockfish community. Uh, and, and the way we're going to do that is with I'm not going to try to take this back down, but, but they, they, they broke it up into sub-basins. And, and they've got like one, two, three, four, five sub-basins. Uh, that's the railroad track, that's the part of rock base there. Uh, each of those uh, basically are large, undeveloped acreage tracks. 
and any development that will occur in those areas will be served by a pump station that will pump into a back on force main that the county would install along Philippi Church Road that will take it back to the internal pump station. Uh, that force main will be built until the first time as the developer comes forward and says he's ready to do a development in one of those settlements. Uh, but the county did commit to going and doing engineering and all the programming out of the way. Uh, and in doing so, if and when a developer comes forward and wants to do something, uh, it would be a matter of writing a contract. They pay their fees, part of the fees, part of the thing as it's developed. Uh, and, and they can be put in the regional list station. They pump into the force main. The force main can be built from the same time frame as the development can be built. So literally all of those large acreage tracks could be served this year in the future. <laughs> and it should be an economical approach rather than what was happening in the past. You could get one landowner come in, uh, and, and an example is there was, uh, I think, 107 acres instead of the off this road. Well, you know, that by itself was probably uh, $1.6 million to put in this station and force me to serve. And they requested a sort of waiver and everything about it. But now, if they were to come in, their calls to be based on, let's say, roughly, uh, I'm trying to remember this average down, but I think it was like $1,000 or something dollars per bar. So let's say you could, you could do a 267, 300 lot subdivision for around $300,000 a year at home. And, and that gets it back affordable, and it's pretty much what they were interested in doing on this area. And in that situation, you would have a regional legislation that the county's description and the rest of the calls to, uh, and it could serve a whole lot more acreage. And then when Sewer waiver requests come in for these smaller tracks. Uh, in my suggestion, it would be granted and we could go to all of the hoops that we're having to go through now. But, uh, that's the conceptual plan that's on the table today to serve basically all the undeveloped area uh, in Rockford's community that we consider having development potential. And I've got our engineers that are working on that with us here tonight to answer some more particular questions. And uh, I'll open up the floor and do a couple of How does that apply to subdivision? We're already here that might be in trouble with their school and business that I hear that I know is in trouble with their school. What happens here? Where do they go? Well, Retrofitting some divisions and, and, and my friends I see them say we did a lot of retrofit work. I mean that was part of what the industry did put in and put in the put in some work. That that's a very expensive process. All the way to do it, being served one house, you've got to serve the whole subdivision. It's usually mandatory connections to everybody in the subdivision and everybody has to pay their square share, which cost us back then anywhere from eight to twelve thousand dollars per lot. And that depended on whether you did uh, a full home blade street with permanent patch and whether or not you put saw back in the yard when you put it up or, or just see and check back in. But I, I'm not guaranteed you that it's gonna make a mess of it out. And that is just the school of in That's not the real station and the force main Get all the situations like that. So that there's there's no immediate plan to address retrofitting developed there. <coughs> now uh, we did bring sign up sheets, and, and I'd like to circulate those if we could. Um, be sure everybody gets a name and their uh, address. And if they're having a problem, so please put it on there. Uh, and with the county's GIS system now, it's very simple. We can, we can look at that map and plan it and see where the problems are occurring. And, and it may be, you know, ideal. 
that you would have an area that's experiencing the problems of right next to one of these basins that we're looking at putting in gravity. Uh, and it could be done at the same time as the conserving end. Uh, and make it a lot more affordable. But this would do a single subdivision by itself or a single business by itself. Uh, I, I'm guessing the well, well, okay, one other question and then I'll look. We had fixed up probably on our own some, some sign-up sheets to be passing down to people. A lot of them already have them. A lot have already signed. I wonder if yours is different from ours. We didn't know you all were going to bring any, so we had already written up one. Well, yours is fine. And yours probably has more detail than ours. That ours is just a standard meeting sign-up sheet. But if you've got one, that the folks are actually, I guess, petitioning for the service and it's got, it's got the protective envelope on there, that's a big, a big deal. Yeah. So we can get it from their domain address. So. But we can take either one. Okay. Why do we, why do we deal with the subdivision? We've got their fields up there. They're a great field up there. They get a company to come in and pump the subdivision. Pump it and in six months it's full again because the fields are full. We've got people living, you may not believe it, people are living in the sewer in their backyard. From right now to right here. So they're down here in these areas. What do we do? What does the health department do? I mean, are they going to condemn the house? They could. Well, yeah. no, normally, you know, if you get a sick tank permit today, you're supposed to have sufficient air area to put in a new grant. Uh, I'm talking about the one that's already established. Right. What do we well, do? I, I, I would still think that they are, for the most part, on county water. So they're not having to worry about well contamination. Right. And, and they may very well be able to put in a little grinder pump in their tip tank up to the front yard if they can be drain field. I mean, there's a lot of options that can be explored. Uh, but I think the main thing is to determine where the issues are and if there are enough of them in one specific area to justify putting in at this station and the collection system that it serves our own area. And, and then those park owners be willing to be assist or... Why did it, why did it take a lot of fish after the, the community after the community in order to get the sewer to come on to it? I know you talked about the county health but we can't develop anymore that we have it. We don't. It, 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 it's not going to happen. We're going to keep putting well, housing. We're going to keep putting in their housing. We're going to have influence on the city. But what does it do for the folks that's already here and the guts are in the home? And, you know. Well, the, the biggest advantage I, I can see is, and let's just use, for example, this rental track that is on the other side of Minnesota Road and south of Minnesota Road. And, and the property of this contract is there on the side. You know where that is, right? right. Uh, there's a commercial property. We actually tried to do a project one time all the years ago with the property of this contract in America to go through that side. Can you speak a little louder? Yes, ma'am. Anyhow, let, let, let's say this is one of the, the tracks that is part of the easternmost area that could be developed and it abuts Cumberland County. If, if this undeveloped acreage were to get developed first, uh, then you would have already force money that would extend all the way back to the... Uh, it would only then be a matter of putting in a collection system for that particular development that needs it. <coughs> and, and they may have to add their own destination as well to, to pump in the force money, but at least all that backbone infrastructure would already be in place. Now, if you know, if there's folks, and, and again, I think it's going to depend on how many people are experiencing problems. But if there's a, if there is a a, a lot of them, and, and they're identified on, on a like let's say a GIS map that this needs to be sewered, and and then there's some. Some uh, coordination with the environmental health folks at the campus, and they confirm, you know, the safety tanks are failing. Uh, there are no repair areas for the drain fields to be expanded into. Uh, 
then I, I would suggest that those property owners make a case to the county commissioners or the utility committee uh, with the utility committee's help, because we can generate the maps and all that shows where the problems are, uh, that they need sewer. And, and that would be a whole different project that has to be looked at and, and how it can be done. But again, I, I think the way it will be done is not just look at the 20 lots. It will probably be looking at something more regional uh, that could serve a larger area. Uh, so this is this the property you're talking about, a little right out there that goes to the county line down right across the street there? That's one of them, right? I think, uh, in, my, in my opinion, I think a lot of the folks in the Rockfish area really don't understand where it's where it started, where is it going. I know you just explained it to me, but without me looking at that map very thoroughly, I would not understand where it's going. So where is it well, stopping? That, that's, I mean, I have a house that I've yep. been living in for 38 years. I can't not live in my house. Yeah. And, and, and you're experiencing problems with your not, system? Not at this moment, you know, but I mean, if the fields are, dry, are are saturated, how much longer will I be able to live in my house without problems? Without the sewer, when I'm taking, when I'm at the takeoff here, without the sewer coming in, you'll be at your expense to get someone in there to, to dig you some new drain fields if it can be done at your expense. Well, I mean, so why go through that expense is what we're trying to fight for in that's, the Rockford community is, is to get the sewer, let's pay now, uh, and let's get our petition up. I, I agree. I'm in agreement with you, Brown. Right. I, I'm not arguing. No, I, no, no, no. I, what I'm trying to say is what, what do those folks who have been in their homes for 25, 35 years, I mean, are we just supposed to move? Well, the thing well, we're, no. what we're trying to find out is, what I am personally going to try to find out is that where is it, where is it going? Why can't it go further? They have to answer these questions to me because uh, I feel that Rockfish area is going to develop and develop fast if we have the sewer. Everyone will benefit. I've talked with Arby's, I've talked with Chick-fil-A, I've talked with other people at, at, at corporate, and they're telling me I, I, I'm silly. I said, well, why do you say I'm silly? Well, you said there's, there's no sewer. Uh, I agree. And in a lot of places, there's no water. They will not even touch the sewer, let alone your home. I, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, those of us who are already here, I'm not worried about what's going to be developed right. or may be exactly. developed. I'm here. I need sewer and water, not today, but who knows how long in the future before we do need it. Well, hopefully you've got water. Well, we do have water. But and, what I'm saying, and, and, these, these, know, are, these are necessities of life. Right, right. And, and, and individual septic systems, you, you know, if, if the soils are right and they're maintained right, I mean, they've got an indefinite life. It, it, it depends on, you've got to be careful what you ask for sometimes. A lot of the people in the federal, you know, ended up, they didn't have a choice. They were annexed and they put it in their subdivisions and their systems were working fine uh, and some weren't. And, and they had a much higher majority that were failing than I think that we got in Hook County. But I, I, I would first evaluate how bad the problem is and the second thing I would do is look at what I could do to expand my drain field, particularly since you don't have a well issue to worry about. And then I would look at all the new development taking place with sewer, which would definitely take care of the commercial need and address getting some more commercial out here. And I agree. I think if you had sewer uh, right here to the hard rock fish, you'd probably have a food line being built there a week from now. <laughs> so this petition, land developers are also signing this petition. Right. Land owners, I'll put it that way, maybe not necessarily developers, then it becomes developable land if the sewer comes. Right. And, and we actually, and, and I'm going to leave this map up here, and we've got some handouts. If if looking, you want to hand out this one, look anybody yeah, raise your hand and, and get a smaller copy. But all the property owners that you see in these highlighted areas were 
were notified and asked, do you have an interest in receiving sewer based on the concept of the development? And, and to my knowledge, we didn't get anybody that said, no, we don't. Probably a lot of them didn't understand what you were interested. talking about. And you want the truth about it, I mean, it's uh, notified. Well, they almost need the map of a very similar. Our map. whole point is of getting the community together is to, for everybody to understand That's where is it, where is it at, and where is it going. I have no idea. Now, I could have researched it. I could have went to the county and researched it and found out. But I wanted the experts here to tell me that, you know, I, I don't want to take them over here. But I wanted them to tell me, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Rockfish Hope Elementary is getting it. Are they not on that block of road? Does it not? Does it not? That's correct. It comes up to the road. That's correct. No. But um, they, they, are, are, they are in they this basin. That, that is a school right there. Right. And this area is one of the first ones that we've had the most interest in. In fact, we've already written a contract. We just haven't got it back yet. From one of the developers that will put that this station in. And that is the you say the developer, you're talking about he's going to develop that property? He's going to develop this property. See, that's what I'm talking about. We don't know. See, we are really, really in the dark of what's going on in the community and in the county. I'm telling you, right now, we're in the dark. But we really don't know what's going on. I didn't. I was under the influence that was coming up Philippi High Church. Right. Coming up Coons Road. Going from Coons Road to the Rock to the Rockfish Hope Elementary. And then I heard it was going to uh, Philip High Church all the way up to Rockfish Road and stop. And that's what I was informed. Well, that's the only thing that, that is on the table. And then, and then it was told that it was going down the creek, right down here at the bottom of the hill, and hit Rockfish Road and go back to Davidson Bridge. Is that all off the table? Is that ever on the table? Well, I, I, I have to ask you to, to look at the maps that we've given you, but the only thing that the county has proposed to install is the back on Forest Main that comes up Philippi Church Road, and, and right now it gets to Boston Road. When you say the well, county, Boston who, who is the county? Map. When you say the county, who is the county? Hope County was going to spend the Hope more county. Than $5 million. Put right, can you in. specify Hope County for me? Is it the people in Hope County? The citizens? The county, or is the county commissioners? It's the county commissioners. The utility fund will be doing. And where does that come from? Well, from the tax revenue. revenue. Of the fund. Okay. But that would not happen until one of these tracks decides they want to develop. Only thing they've committed to today, and that's the county commissioners, is to pay the engineers to design and permit that leg on the first main. And by doing so, then if some developer comes to the table and he wants to do a project, it can get built in the same time frame that they can get their <coughs> subdivision built. Yeah, I apologize. I'm not here to beat you up. Oh, sorry. God knows I'm not here to beat you up. We've been fighting this issue for a long time. We're not getting answers. We don't get answers from the county commissioner, truthfully. Uh, I'm a big, I try to be a big voice in the community. And, and I get shot down a lot because of my voice, but people need to know what's going on in the community. And if somebody don't tell them and inform them, you're not going to never know. Because a lot of the folks don't go to the county commissioner's meetings, and they don't go to other meetings. We look around this room here tonight. We should have had it completely chucked before. Well, I, yeah. I, I, I'll say I haven't heard some of the questions, and I, and I don't like misinformation being yeah. distributed, for sure. Yeah. But the county does have a utility committee. And two of the commissioners sit on that committee. And these gentlemen back here and staff, Mike Dean, a bunch of other folks sit on there. It's the first Tuesday of each month at 8 30 in the morning. And you're welcome to attend. You can give me a call. I'll be glad to put you on the agenda. Or if you've got a list of specific questions and you can get them to me, I will get you answers. So you're not getting second-hand information that may not be true. So we need to jump on the county commissioners. <laughs> 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 
not me. <laughs> Is there any more questions regarding our show? May I ask one? Is this considered in the, what, the, what they have planned? It's called phase three. Is this a phase three sewer or water system that we're talking about in these plans? Or is this something that's outside phase three? I, I've never heard it called phase three. I've only heard it called a rough fish sewer service area plan. There, there is no phase three plan that I know of. Phase three is the water plan. The water part that we just got through or in the process wrapping up. That, that's yeah. That's all. That's water structure. Any more questions? Thank you, Mr. Medina. Thank you all. Well, Come out. We'll leave the maps in place. Then come back and. Uh,